Hi girls. Hey, we miss you. I uh, wanted to get a couple drills together for you. Uh, we're going to concentrate on the outfield today. Uh, these you could probably do in the backyard if you have a park real close by you can walk to. Um, just to keep you fresh, some basics. Uh, we're going to go through about five or six drills. Ellen's going to help us out today. Um, we were going to use Audra, but we wanted to make the outfield drills look good. Rude. <laughs> go through the three ways you field a ball on the ground in the outfield. First one, like an infielder. All right, this is in a situation where you don't have a play at a base. Generally, maybe if you're playing left field, ball's hit pretty hard. The girl's not gonna be able to advance the third. You just wanna field the ball, keep it in front of you, and get it in. Next play is the safety. All right, this is to, again, you don't have a play at the bases, and you've got to make sure the ball is not getting by you. Keys to that. Being big and blocking the ball. Okay. Making sure your glove is covering up, yep. covering up the hole. Yep. Cool. And the last one we know, this is a do or die. We know we got to make a play, so we're going to field it, the ball from the side. Hey, good job. Audra, Ellen, talk us through a little bit some of the some of the really important parts of that. I know we do this in practice, and sometimes they don't look as pretty. Uh, the one thing I noticed Ellen did was how low she got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to make sure that your glove is all the way on the ground. You're stepping and fielding the ball off your glove foot and then coming up into a curl hop. Okay, so if you're a right-hander, you're fielding your glove is by your left foot. Yep. If you're a left-hander, your glove is by your right foot. All right, you're down low. All right, this is do or die, so if this ball gets by us, it's probably a triple. All right, this drill emphasizes the crow hop, making sure you get airborne. Build that momentum towards your throw at home. Ellen's gonna demonstrate, we're gonna use our hurdle. You can use anything that hurdle six inches tall. You can even go a little higher, eight inches tall, just to, even if you go higher than you would, it's good to exaggerate it during drills. Well, why don't you show us a couple crow hops? Okay. See the ground she's making, she's coming forward. Oh, you, gotta do all these moves. you can even see where she starts and where she finishes. Bang, good job. We work on our drop steps. We know we do this every day of practice. I think sometimes we lose the fundamentals behind. We do it, we do them too quick. I think what you really want to emphasize, oh, can you show us how you drop? All right, it's that pivot. So when we do them sometimes in practice, we get too rushed and we kind of get sloppy. It's that pivot, that move. I know when I do drop steps, I do them all. I don't, do, I don't, I don't go to the side much. I go right behind because that's the toughest drop step to make. All right, we're also, I'm not going to try to make you guys, you know, on these, I'm not going to try to make Ellen catch it running away from it. I want her to get behind the ball because that's our goal with every ball hit up in the, out, in the outfield is to get behind the ball so we can make a play into the infield. All right, so we're going to open this way. Go. Good job. The other way. Good job. Okay, we did the first one with the uh, with the tennis ball. And that you can do right in your backyard. You can do it out in the street. All right, I don't use a glove and a ball because, you know, that's how we play softball. So we're going to kind of progress and do it with the glove and the ball. Same thing, though. one way you got fooled and the ball's gonna be on the other side so I'll open this way to the other way what we're gonna do is called the three ball drill um, it's it's really good in tight tight areas because we're not really going far we use tennis balls um, I first noticed it, I know uh, when Ellen was playing, I remember showing up to a game early and watching her uh, coach go through the outfielders with this, and uh, I took it right away. I thought it was a really good drill, so. Here we go, it's one, one to the side, one over the shoulder, and then coming in strong. <laughs> the other way. Hey, 
Yeah, you go. Yeah, one drill that I've seen Ellen's college coaches use is the uh, play catch with the football. It's really important for the outfield because you know you don't see wide receivers or you don't see tight ends going out in patterns with their hands up. And so it kind of emphasizes us not running with our glove out. The ball I'm using uh, is pretty deflated. It was in my basement. And now that Brady's gone, I could say, yes, he did deflate the ball. So they look like this. Go. Try one drill that we're, we're going to put on here is uh, another drill that emphasizes a really important thing for the outfields, outfielders, and that's staying behind the ball. It's getting behind the ball. If you see the high level outfielders, they rarely, if ever, catch the ball up here. They're always coming from behind, getting behind it, and they're catching the ball on their throwing shoulder. So Ellen's gonna, we're, we're gonna, she's gonna get behind the ball. I'm gonna try to loft it towards where that cone is, and she's gonna come back at the ball. One more. Good. Well, hey, all these drills, guys, you can do with either a glove or you can do it with a tennis ball. Um, if you have a little brother or sister, your father, somebody, uh, anybody, mother, anybody wants to play catch with you. Um, you don't need this big area. We're out in the field because our backyard's kind of small, but hey, take it easy. Stay safe. We'll see you.